Lambda.js is this uh, programming language that was implemented by the researchers uh, in that paper that I showed you, Essence of JavaScript. And it's a very simple um, extension of Racket or of, yeah, of Racket that contain or of Lambda, <laughs> Lambda Calculus, that contains a few more constructors just to be able to run JavaScript. It is a different language than JavaScript, but you can compile JavaScript very easily to Lambda.js, as I'll show you in today's lesson. Uh, so today, I just want to cover what Lambda.js is. Today, I mean, right now. Uh, and following, we're going to cover the translation function. How do you take from Simple.js to Lambda.js? Uh, this is a software that was developed by the researchers, and we're going to use it uh, just for debugging purposes. I'm using it in AutoGrader, but for your sake, uh, if you want to play with it, you can, but you don't have to. Okay, so what is Lambda.js? Oh, it's also another an opportunity for you to look at an interpreter uh, implemented by someone else. And I think that that is cool. Okay, so this is um, basically you have in blue homework four. So values, variables, your, your lambdas and your function calls. Uh, and then we have in purple objects. So you have a way to declare an object. You have a way to read a field, a way to set a field or assign a field. And finally, you have green operations, which are for to manipulate references. So you have a way to allocate a reference and you have a way to uh, assign a reference. You should have a way to read a reference, I guess. Huh. Interesting. How do you read a reference? I think we'll we'll see that in a bit. Uh, anyway, so let's move on. Um, so now let's look, compare formal syntax to S expressions, what you see in the actual, you know, if you use the, the interpreter lambda JS, how would you see these things? So the lambda is the, the usual syntax. A function call is as, as well, like a racket syntax for that. To create an object, you do object, and then you do pairs, where the first, the key has to be a string, and the right-hand side is an expression, a, a simple record expression, if you will. Uh, and to read the field of an object, you call get field, you pass the object and the string for the field. To allocate an object, you do alloc, alloc and then whatever you want to allocate. So in this case, we're allocating a reference that holds an object. If I want to assign a value to that object, I do set. If I want to do sequence, I use begin. I want to sequence multiple commands. And if I just want to do a, a, an assignment, a let assignment, I have also a keyword for that, which is the let. Okay. So now... I want to just to give you a, high, a bird's eye view of translating simple.js to lambda.js, uh, but I'm going to do that in the next video.